please allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Vincent. Swingily. And today I'm going to share with you the family recipe. Now calm down. This ain't no cooking show. This is not a pasta sauce recipe we're talking about here. What we're talking about is a recipe for look something like this when we're done. It is a cross between a glider and a fighter. It's a fighter glider, so to speak. So, let's, let's begin, shall we? Now, there's one, one thing we gotta have understood before we proceed with this paper aircraft. This has been in my family been a family recipe for like 14, 15 generations, okay, so keep it under the down low, can't be telling nobody, this is for, uh, I think I'll throw it to me, I was a little apprehensive when the professor told me to share this with all you people, but I said, hey, I love these people, these are my people, so I can do that you. So, we are going to proceed by folding this piece of paper in half. It's a long way. Like this. Now, I'm a connoisseur of paper aircraft. And before I start folding, I, I just kind of let the paper talk to me. I let the paper tell me what it wants me to do to it. And I say, hey, paper, how do you want me to do you? You want me to fold you like this? Or do you want me to fold you like this? Because it makes a difference. You see, there's a grain throughout the paper and the grain sometimes goes like this and sometimes it goes like that so you gotta talk to the paper if you don't talk to the paper the paper won't talk to you now this particular piece of paper is telling me poisonly to fold it this way so that's what I'm gonna to be laser sharp. 
spiche. I don't like paper that's folded in in a weak fashion. As you all know, I don't like weakness. Now, due to me previously talking to the paper, I know my next folds will be coming from this direction. Yeah, see, I'm feeling it here. And that's what it's telling me. Yeah, that's what it's telling me. So, the next two folds we're going to do a mirror fold. They're going to mirror one another. It's pretty simple, right? So, it will do something like this. You see that? And like this. Is this clear enough for you? Do I get to make like a DVD and mail it to every one of you people? So let's begin. I will take this edge here and I will proceed to fold this edge to the middle. Don't give me no complaints about the conditions of my hands, okay? My grandmother had me working in the garden all weekend, picking tomatoes, picking peppers, and she don't let me stop. No breaks, no tea, no coffee, no beverages, non-stop. My grandmother's kind of a tough lady. Anyways, let's proceed. Now you can see the center line. Now remember what I said about perfect alignment? Well, I meant it. So we're going to get up in here like this. Sometimes if you get to go like this, it's a little trick. My grandma taught me back when she used to love me when I was just a little, little fella. Like that. And I usually off the point first, see that? Even if you, you gotta give the paper a little bit of a massage and to keep it in place. Oh boy, if that works. And then you kinda do a little pivot action. See, you pivot it. Pivot it up the line. Once that's complete, start from the point. And work your way down. It's pretty simple. Take your stainless steel pen cap and make that fold perfect. And I mean perfect. I will now proceed to mirror that fold on the other side. Now, I could do it like this, I suppose, so it keeps it uniform for the viewer. You wouldn't want to irritate anybody. People get rather upset when you do things in an ununiform fashion. Now, you'll see at the very tip here, it ain't my lining up right. That is not my fault. This piece of paper is defective. I guarantee that. I guarantee you that. These paper companies do not produce quality cut paper no more. A bunch of animals. So any imperfections you see are the inconsistencies in the paper company. You got it? Let's continue. Now, we are now going to do this. We are going to take this point right here. You see those big arrows pointing to this point right here? And we're going to bring that baby down to here. So you're going to say, well, Vinny, <laughs> come on. How do I know how far to go? Well, it's pretty simple. You see this piece right here? See where that paper is? Once that paper meets up with the line, you'll be done. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. It's pretty simple. Now, I am pretty proficient in paper folding. I am an origamiist, so to speak. So, try to keep up. I'm going to go slow. Are you ready? So, I brought the paper down to here. And now, I'm going to coerce it back into position to these little edges here. Come to a perfect point. You get the paper underneath, tucking up into the position. See? It's right 
here. Okay, what it's doing? I bring this fold down and I, I work it into position. And it's very, very important that you keep this center line precisely, and I mean precisely, in line with this center line. If you don't do that, we're going to have problems. So I bring it up. And once you start pulling back a little bit, you'll feel that paper underneath making contact. You're done. That's it. Pinch it in the middle, right there. Pull that in position. And work the fold out to the edge. And proceed to do that on the other side. Like so. Stainless steel pen cap. This next part is a little different for everybody because we don't all have the same size thumbs. But do you see this pointy part right here? Okay. This piece right here, this tip, gotta be folded over this way. And a general idea is like one and a half thumbs. So there's one thumb. You see that right there? From here to here. There's about one thumb width. Then about half a thumb. Very easy. X marks the spot. This is the spot right here that that tip is going to fold to. And we'll proceed to do that now. made and open it right back up. Take it easy. We're going to fold it back over again in a second. There's another thing we got to. Now, do you see where the fold was created by bending this thing over one and a half tums? It's right here. Where that in the center line crease is your next X marks the spot. That's your next destination. Four. Both of these corners right here. Corner number one. Corner number two. We are going to proceed to take these two corners, the points, and fold them to that spot right there. You see? Like so. Now make sure when you do this part, you don't let the paper get all wild and wonky on you. You got to keep it low and slow, like you're making a pork dinner. Now, just keep it up a little bit, because you don't know want, when this comes back up like this, that edge to interfere with that edge. So it's really like kind of up a little bit, you know, a tiny bit. Just use your common sense, okay? Bring it up to the middle here, and fold. even in the world and do the same thing on this side. It's all about there. We could keep this down, make them kiss. See? Like they're at the inspiration point. Okay. Now, at this point, I would like to recrease everything. I want everything 
everything decreased perfectly. Because the paper is not the specifications. It's going to misbehave. Okay. Now, this next part takes hands of a skilled organist. So pay attention. If you don't get it the first time, try it again. You're going to pick up the paper aircraft like so. But it is imperative that you keep this little flap down. See, this is what just happened right here. This zone here, that is not appropriate for what I'm about to do. It's got to stay under the little flap. Okay? Pick up the paper airplane, keeping both of these under the flap, and then fold it in half, like so. You see what just happened there? This little thing is keeping these locked down. That's a little lock mechanism. My great, great, great grandfather Vincent Squinjelly the second invented that. Now I will once again reflatinate all the creases. Be careful going over the little bits, you know, use a little bit of finesse, you know what I mean? Don't be a savage. Okay, now, this next part is extremely crucial if you want this performance aircraft to fly straight, like me, on the straight and narrow. We are going to proceed to take this edge here that I am showing you with the arrows, okay? See that edge? This edge here is going to be Fold it over perfectly in line with the bottom edge. But I'm telling you right now, do not allow this wing to get all puffed up and flake. Keep it under control. I'll demonstrate. See how I'm massaging the paper? I am coercing it into position. Make sure my nose is perfectly in line first, right there, see? I'm talking about this point, right there. As soon as that part touches down on the center line, see what I'm doing there? I then make sure this piece goes right into position. There we go. Oh, baby. We got it going on now. And then flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. This edge right here. You see that edge? And this one right here, indicated by the gigantic arrows that I'm drawing. That edge is going to be folded over to the bottom edge or the center one. I think I have made my point. This edge here, just like the other side. Once again, 
for the last time. Working on the folds beautifully. Massaging the craft into a perfect symmetrical piece of equipment. Sometimes I like to crease it to the left, which would be, you're right, I know that. You don't gotta tell me. Actually, this is first poison. So it'll be my left and your left. Hey, give me a break, will ya? Some people uh, say I go a little overboard with my crimping. Well, then you start your own baby plan making video. Okay? at this point I like to decorate my aircraft so I'll fold it back down and I'll do stuff like this and be like hey what's up how you doing hey it's Vinny what's up you know stuff like that maybe put some fake ailerons in Recently, like, you know, like machine guns and whatnot on there. Maybe doing a strafing run. You know, whatever. Of course, you use the logo from your particular country. You know, something like that. Anyways, I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make a performance fighter glider. There it is in all her glory. Oh, and of course, you always have to name your aircraft. And I think I will name this aircraft Betty Sue. So, happy flying. Be careful. Make sure you follow all FAA regulations. Uh, we don't like to have no 